Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alcar Night Raven. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my next Legacy United review. And this is the last figure that I'll be getting for Wave 1. Um, the other ones that I haven't reviewed, um, I'm just not interested in. They don't really appeal to me. Um, so, not for me. However, MGO and some of the others either have reviewed them or will be reviewing them i'm sure but yeah for me this is it for uh wave one really excited for wave two saw the um cybertron universe starscream and i cannot wait that looks amazing if um any of you have watched my cybertron reviews on my figures and you would know that the Cybertron Starscream is my favorite Starscream mold of all time. I think it is the best looking Starscream in my opinion just because of like the style of it. The colors look great. Um, but yeah, so enough about that. We'll get to the review and today we're looking at Animated Universe Optimus Prime. And this is a pretty cool figure. Um, I love the look i love the style um looks great like it's such an excellent mix of animated with a little g1 inspiration like just perfect in my personal opinion but as usual let's take a look at the packaging and like i've said with some of the other universe your universe united packaging it's thicker cardstock, and I just love that because it just it holds together so much better than the previous. But here you can see Animated Universe Optimus Prime in truck mode. Looks amazing. Legacy United, he is a Voyager. Hasbro, Transformers, Generations, Takartomi. On the top, Legacy United. On the bottom, barcode and words and stuff. On this side... Here he is in robot mode. Um, I'm pretty sure that we'll probably see a DNA design do an upgrade kit where we can swap out his head to one with the mask. But yeah, he doesn't have the mask. And I'm fine with that. I mean, most of the time in the show, we saw him without the mask. But still, looks really good. On this side, our artwork. There he is right there. 40 years. Really can't wait for this guy and this guy. So excited. And on the back, our product shots. And yeah, very cool. As well as our warning in many different languages. So yeah. So there's the packaging. We'll come down and take a look at Optimus. Yeah, very cool. Got some silver right there with some black black for the windows all that red red and blue lights yellow for the headlights this is just gray plastic so but it still works it's got a nice shine to it got some silver and it actually is so cool the way they did it you got the silver line coming down and then it wraps around the headlights same thing on this side here's the back um would have been nice having these lights painted these tail lights and turn signals but it's all right still very cool the bottom see it folds up really nicely i do like that there's the top yeah very cool he rolls very nicely <laughs> and make sure you're where you can see that but yeah rolls really nicely um I wouldn't be surprised if someone had did a um, 3D print of like the the rest of the trailer to give him that fire truck mode that he's supposed to be, in a way. Um, I don't think DNA Design would ever do that, honestly. But I'm pretty sure like DNA Design will give us what they usually do, and we'll probably get like the the. Um, squirt gun i mean water gun whatever you want to call it that he had in the show and on the original toy so i could see dna design doing that or who knows like maybe one of the other um upgrade filler kit 
uh, companies, small companies that have done stuff. So, but yeah, he does come with his axe as a weapon. Very nicely done there. Love the translucent blue. Got that silver here with the red. And one cool thing here too is it extends, so he can hold it two-handed, and we'll get into that in robot mode. But you can store this on vehicle mode, and you take this tab right here, and you can do either one, but you just tab it in, and there it is, stored. So, yeah, there is that. But that is pretty much going to be it for vehicle mode. So let's get down to transforming him. And I think what we'll start with... So we're going to start with up here. Pop this open. Then we can pop this down. And with that, let's bring that all the way. With that down, we can... bring this down and now we'll start with the legs now we'll work on the legs so let's open these up all the way like that now we'll separate these come on <laughs> i'm gonna bring this down and here we'll separate the legs as well and there it's it's actually a very nice tab there we'll bring this down in this tab right here it's going to tab in there and then we can fold this up then you want to fold this up tab that together bring this around this way and then bring the foot around this way and there's one leg done now for the next leg same thing on this side tab it flip it all around Tab it together, bring this around, tab it together, and there we go. And there is all that. Now, spin it around here, and what we're going to do, we're going to bring this down. Okay, maybe you don't want to bring this around just yet, so leave it up like this. So bring this down like this. Now, hmm, did I do something wrong here? I think I did. Okay, I think, we're, yeah, we're doing something wrong here. <sighs> okay, yeah, so these... You want to, whoops, <laughs> don't do that. So bro, untab these and bring them up. And again, it did it. It's such a tight fit. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm doing this in such a messy way. Um, I do recommend watching him go. He's going to do such a better job. But yeah, these are going to all come down like this. And, okay, here we go. And, what have I got wrong here? Okay. So with those up, we're going to push this in all the way and that'll let us bring these bits in so like that or at least it's supposed to be like that <laughs> i've got something wrong here i'm sure of it there we go okay there we go until they're in the right spot to tab in. It's like little tabs here. I tab in together. And then 
this is gonna go in all the way like that now these will come down and really help hold it all in there's tabs here I'm sorry if I'm not getting everything together but it is such a weird <laughs> transformation that I've dealt with I've never dealt with something like this before so got the arms down <laughs> if my transformation is confusing I apologize about that I do recommend MGOS. <laughs> he's very good with the transformation sometimes I am not so now we can open these up swing the fist out close it back up there's one yeah here's the other one And that's pretty much it. Just push everything together and make sure it's all together where it needs to be. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. And there we have animated prime is robot mode. And again, I apologize if I did not have everything. I was trying real hard to have everything in screen i hope i was able to sometimes like if i haven't messed with it enough or if it's been a while like it takes me a bit to remember that is going to be a tough spot for me is these because you got to have them tabbed in here and then tabbed in back here and you see how easy they are to just like pop out like it makes me wonder yeah. I just wonder if there's something that I didn't do right or what. But yeah, you kind of almost want to hold them together. Then when you bring this down, make sure that they line up back there. And just push that all together. Yeah, and then... There we go. So let us take a look now at his head. Very nice animated style head. I really do like this. Got the blue for the face, that uh, brighter blue for the eyes, his blue helmet, got that silver gunmetal gray around. The top part of the front of the truck is now his chest. Very cool on that. Autobot symbol there. The blue and the red and the yellow just looks very nice. No backpack. So very cool on that. Very empty space in here, but that's all right. It it works. Um, articulation, head is on a ball joint. Uh, you can only get so far. There we go. It gets a little tight on mine in that spot, so... A little bit of wiggle, can look up that far, down that far. Arms come out that far. Got bicep swivel. Because of transformation, we have double jointed elbow. And we've got waist. So, very, or wrist, wrist. <laughs> we have waist. Can only kick forward that far. Can kick back that far. We've got thigh very deep knee bend and feet you can move them around on that transformation joint if you want but you also got nice ankle pivot so pretty decent amount of articulation on this guy like i said i really do like him I, am, I did not mess with his transformation enough. Now we can give him his axe and you can hold it like this or you can pull this out all the way, sort of get it into this position. <laughs> kind of get into a nice angular position. You can feed it through here and then like kind of <laughs> I 
Uh, sorry, everything's coming apart on me. <sighs> okay, let's see if I can get this now. There we go. Whoop. You're supposed to stay there, and then you need to come here. So I don't have, it's not the best on my, on me, but like you can kind of, like, I don't even know how they did it on the back. Oh, well, kind of like that. So yeah, it's get the right kind of movement here. gonna get this right I know it so yeah kind of like that <laughs> it, maybe you can figure something else a little easier but me personally I'm just gonna keep it sort of like this or you can if you want I should show this off while I have the chance. Put it down. You got these two, or you could use this one, but you just sort of tab it in, and he's got it on his back. So there is that, and that came out yet again. I'm having problems here. See, I move move stuff around too much, and it's my tabs are not holding like they should. Like if that's one issue that I'm having. Hopefully, you have um, better things with yours than I am with mine. But yeah, it's just it's. I feel like those tabs should have been a little, just a touch thicker. Honestly, but yeah. Now, with this guy, um, I got him off Big Bad Toy Store. I'm sure you can find him everywhere else as well. I've seen a few people are posting up that they're finding him in their Walmarts. Uh, some, I believe, in their Targets. So he is starting to show up in stores. Um, as for getting him, do I recommend him? If you're a fan of uh, the animated series, then yes, definitely. Um really nicely done figure it's very few like um open spaces um um that need fillers so like the bottom of the feet really is about it but like i love i love when they do something that gives us articulated uh wrists well, i guess i gotta watch out for that <laughs> But it is very nicely done. Like a really good Optimus. I mean, the only downside for, I'd say for anybody, is if you wanted to have the mouth plate, it doesn't have the mouth plate. Um, but I'm sure we'll see something down the road for a third-party kit or something that'll have that. Or maybe, you know, maybe we'll see... Uh, black painted Nemesis Prime, and he'll have the uh, mouth plate. I can kind of see them doing that, considering that they've done that in the past, like with um, the Nemesis Primal in the Target exclusive four pack. But yeah, but definitely recommend him. Like I said I got mine off of uh, Big Bad Toy Store. It's where I get a good portion of my figures. I rarely find anything in stores now. The only time I don't get from there is if it's a pre-order exclusive to, like, say, Target or Walmart or Hasbro Pulse or something like that. So, But that is going to be it for me. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all later.